Hello, lovelies. We are live. Welcome to the Go Pure Glow Show. I'm Stephanie Classy. I am your esthetician here at Go Pure. I'm so excited because we are going to be playing in skincare today. We are going to be doing an amazing winter facial. And right off the bat, we are actually going to be doing some giveaways. So whether you are joining us on our live stream shopping feed or you're joining us from one of our social platforms, um, say hello and let us know where you're joining us from. If you want to participate in all of the fun and giveaways and actually be able to shop as you learn, as we play in skincare together, then make sure you either hop in the bio or onto our live stream shopping feed. That link is in the caption if you are on Facebook or on YouTube, and they'll drop it here in the comments too. You can pop on over and that's where we're gonna be doing all the fun giveaways. Um, if you're already, if you received a text and you hopped right in, you're in the right place and you can participate in all of those super fun giveaways. Um, and that's why you always wanna be on our email and text list because it gets you direct access to the giveaways. And we're gonna be doing some exclusive discounts as well. I'm trying to get us going on TikTok, but for some reason it's not letting me. And that's a bummer because I want to get us live on TikTok too. And I don't know why it's not letting me do that. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm going to, I'm going to see what I can do. And I'm going to see if I can go live on TikTok as well and see what's going on. Crystal, it's not letting me go live on TikTok. Um, I don't know if, if you can mess with the captions or anything to see if it'll let me go live for that too, so I can get TikTok going as well. But all right, we have a bunch of you on there. Make sure you're tapping the hearts. We, here's what we're going to do today for giveaways. Because And if you're watching on replay, this is really important because this will be available for replay in our GoPure VIP community on Facebook. So what you want to do is you want to be engaged. You want to be commenting. You want to be a part of the conversation. Um, I see so many of you joining us. We have Elizabeth, Marissa, Sherry, Tara, KKT, Penne. Um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy Hanukkah to all of you joining us. This is going to be so much fun. Um, and we're going to play in skincare because winter is so hard on our skin and it can feel so dry and flaky. Um, let me know how your skin is feeling. And what we're going to do right out the gate is we are going to choose two winners to choose from either our new amazing dramatically dewy serum or check this out under my little christmas tree i have over here the dream duo set which features our advanced repair eye cream and our 10 percent niacinamide booster so get all a part of the conversation for your chance to win we're going to be choosing two winners right out the gate then in the middle of this amazing facial live. We're going to choose two more winners to win some of our exclusive um, holiday sets that we have. And then at the end, and you need to be on and you need to be participating. We're going to see who stays on, who participates in this. We are going to be giving away this awesome Go Pure luxury spa set we put together with an incredible luxurious robe and our Go For The Glow gift set, which features an incredible, beautiful cosmetics bag, our vitamin C cleanser and our vitamin C moisturizer, which are super iconic and this really super adorable headband because what facial would be complete without an adorable Go Pure headband? We know that we need the headband too because come on, how cute is this? We love this. <laughs> and I do have a little bit of cough and I apologize. Um, so, and I'm, I'm trying to see if I can still get us up on TikTok because I really want us to be able to go live on there too. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Becky. Hi, Kathy, Melissa. Um, and so I think... Um, and we want to we want to see who our first two winners are because we just love doing giveaways and we love just having you all be a part of the awesome conversation. Um, and we love showing our appreciation because it is the time we have Shoe Lover Twenty Nine on. Hey, um, Elizabeth saying her nose and cheeks are dry. This part of my nose is so dry. And like the thing about this facial is that the benefit of a winter facial. When I think about with the winter facials, we want to go into this from the mindset of what's our skin doing? What does our skin need? What is impacting our skin? How is it looking? How is it feeling? So we're going to go through the process of a facial. We're going to talk it out. And yes, Chris is asking, are there sales tonight? Yes, we have an exclusive 20% discount um, with code winter facial. If you're on our live shopping feed, you can shop 
as you learn. We have a tons of products in there. We have a bunch of stuff that's already showing a discount on there, but we have a special list with code winter facial for an additional 20% off some of my favorite, my favorite products for, and I'm going to try and get us live on TikTok again. Um, if we can, we're, I'm trying to see if I can do this now, listen up, who wants to hear the products, the argan oil, the makeup wipes, the cleanser, the headband, the hydrating toner, um, the cleanse and tone set, the microdermabrasion resurfacing exfoliator, the enzyme mask, the mask brush, the dramatically dewy 10% nice than my booster. Um, the, uh, eye cream, the anti-wrinkle cream, the rose hip oil and the neck cream. And our first two winners, um, we have Cindy, I see you have won. And then let's see who else we have in the comments that won. I'm gonna, I'm trying to get to it. So Cindy is our first winner. You get to choose from either the new Incredible Dramatically Dewy Serum, which is our triple hyaluronic acid serum, um, or the Dream Duo set, which has our 10% nice and my booster. Gina E, you are our next winner. And you so you get to choose between the Dream Duo um, or the Dramatically Dewy, our two of our super favorite products. This Dream Duo 2 is our first really cute set like this. It comes in this great box. It's very giftable. Um, and it our eye creams now do come with this really awesome spatula, and that is in there too. So congratulations. So I love starting with some giveaways and you can shop till you drop if you want to grab some of those awesome things for yourself. Um, and I'm going to try and get us on TikTok here really quick. So bear with me. I'm just going to type in facial time and we're going to see if we can get our friends on TikTok to hang out with us as well because we want to be live on TikTok. Oh, it's not. Oh, I figured out the problem figured out the problem. Apparently on TikTok, I'm not allowed to use the word facial. Let's try this now. We're just going to go skincare time on TikTok. We want all of our friends to join us. All right. We got that going too. Hooray. All right. Who's ready to play in some skincare? Who's ready to save 20% on some of our absolute favorite uh, winter facial um, products. And we're going to just be targeting dry, tired, dehydrated skin. And remember, if you're watching this on replay in our GoPro VIP community, still participate, still be a part of the conversation and you have a chance to win as well. And we're going to be doing a huge grand prize at the end. So make sure you stay on share, hit that share button. I want everyone to let me know when you have shared this, hit that share button. And maybe we'll take that into consideration when choosing our next winners, hit that share button, invite your friends. I get asked a lot because we do these, these lives all the time. They're so fun, but this is our last live for a little bit. Um, cause we have so many things to plan and prepare for in the new year. Um, so this is going to be your last chance to win for a little bit. So share, get all of your friends on drop those hearts, participate in the conversation, and let's play in skincare. And let us know when you've shared this with your friends. Um, because in the in winter, the reason I like doing seasonal facial routines is because the weather impacts our skin. The weather makes our skin feel differently depending on where we are. Where I live, it's very, very dry all the time. But when you combine having the heater on and all of these other things that can maybe make our skin feel more dry and dehydrated, I mean, just the, the act alone of turning the heater on in my house makes me feel like I'm in a different person's skin. Yeah, it, I know. Yay, I am live. We have TikTok on. It took us a minute. It didn't like all the words we were using for TikTok. So we're so glad you're on too. If you want to hop into our bio and join our live stream shopping feed, you can have um, a chance in all the giveaways too. And I just love that you're all here with me. But we are going to play in skincare. We're going to get right into it. I was kind of debating how, how chaotic do I want to be tonight? I mean, this is also really special because we are doing this in the evening. A lot of times we do these around lunchtime, midday, and we're going to be just enjoying this time together. Feel free to grab your skincare. And I'm seeing Terry's asking she needs help around her nose. I want, I'll share all of my tips. Um, Brooklyn's saying, I want to be more intentional about my skincare routine in 2023. Um, we have Karma joining us. Uh, Cynthia in snowy Minnesota. Shoe lover is sharing away, sharing away. Um, all right. So I was, I was trying to decide how chaotic I was actually going to be tonight um, with this facial because 
I really want to show you these products. I want to play in the products. We go live so much and I'm talking you through them, but I don't always have the opportunity to play in them. So I'm coming to you bare faced, nothing on my face. Um, and we're going to actually play in products. And I've decided Crystal and Kaylee, who are manning the comments, who are our amazing, amazing social education and content team. Um, we're getting, we're going to get chaotic and I'm going to get all sudsy and we're going to just play in all the products and it's going to be so much fun. This is just going to be great. Um, Alan's saying best skincare ever. Um, and I happen to agree. So when we are, when we're doing this facial, I want you all to note that it is really important to just tailor this Tailor this to your skin, the needs of your skin. That's the benefit of doing a home facial. Um, I'm doing this because I want this routine to be hydrating. I want it to be nourishing. I want it to be moisturizing. I really want to focus on barrier supportive ingredients, but it's all about your skin and what your skin needs in the moment. And that's why the skin analysis portion is really important. Remember, this is just one example. We're going to talk through clarifying exfoliation. I'm not going to use the scrub because it's it's important when you're doing a facial to um, make sure that you get all the bits of a scrub off. Um, and that is very hard to do in my office at my desk when I'm live. So I'm going to share one tip with you with this facial. Um, first, when in doubt, when with the order of your products, reach for your glow guide. The glow guide comes in all of the orders. If you're ordering from our site at gopurebeauty.com, you should be able to get this awesome glow guide. I wrote it myself. Um, and it has really great um, information on just walking through your skincare routine. But a facial is a more indulgent routine that really is going to more deeply target your concerns. It's probably going to have more steps. And so this, if you just really follow your glow guide, this will not steer you wrong. Day or night, um, you can always follow your glow guide and you just fit in more steps. And it's really going to share what order you use your products, some best practices for tips on application. Um, and it really walks you through everything. So first, when in doubt, lean on your glow guide. It's really, really awesome. Now, next, with this facial, because it does more clarifying, exfoliating, and then barrier support and moisturization. When I do this type of facial myself, I actually love to start this facial in the shower because when I'm doing a scrub in particular, um, when I'm using a scrub type product, I really want to get it up very close to my hairline. And here's an area that gets very neglected, not just the hairline, but this area under the chin here, and then down the neck and onto the decollete, even the backs of the arms and the hands. But this area right here is very easy to miss under the chin and through here. And even back around this direction, we can just get built up excess dead skin. Um, and so when you do this in the shower um, and you start in the shower and then finish out of the shower, it's actually it actually allows you to get a little more involved um, and just really get all of the places. Um, and then it allows you to really thoroughly rinse your scrub off as well if you do want to uh, integrate massage into your routine. That's one of my favorite tips um, for this type of facial is that it actually does work really, really well um, because you're also taking advantage of all the steaminess in the shower. Now I'm going to show you the hilarious steam situation I have right now because not everybody has a steamer and everyone can tolerate steam differently. Um, so... I'm going to show you, this is what I lovingly call my towel casserole. You take a lovely dish and you roll up your towels and I have a tea kettle that heats up hot water and then I can take off the top and I can use this to either steam my face from the towels directly or I can take, and these are hot. Um, can you see the steam coming off of my towel? And I can actually use that to do a light steam on the skin. So fun little tip there with the, the, the towel casserole, all of Stephanie classy. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, but first who knows the first step in a facial routine. It's a very important first step. Um, who knows the first step in a facial routine, uh, drop it in the comments. Um, wherever you are. And I'm just going to keep fussing with this. I just can't help it. I'm a fidgety, wiggly person. Um, and so I'm just always going to be fidgeting with something. But 
Um, what is the first step in a facial? I want to see if you know what it is. Drop it in the comments. Remember, when we see you participating and being a part of the conversation, um, we may choose you to be one of our awesome winners because we love giving things away. It's just one of my favorite things. So I'm seeing a lot of people saying cleansing, cleanse and exfoliation, clean skin. Ruth on Facebook said, um, remove makeup. Yes. So cleansing is just this idea of like, we are cleansing the skin, but doing a pre-cleanse, a cleanse before your cleanse, whether you're using a cleansing oil, a balm, or the incredible micellar makeup remover wipes. These aren't a traditional makeup wipe. These are actually a true micellar water. They're packed with cucumber and aloe and pomegranate extract. They're very antioxidant rich, but this is essentially like your bottle of micellar um, makeup remover, which is very, very gentle in a biodegradable cloth that is so soft. So two ways to do a double cleanse. These are some of my tricks. It's very important to cleanse before you cleanse, especially when you're doing a facial. We wanna get a very deep cleanse. To prep the skin, we wanna just get all those that dirt and impurities. You can use an art and oil too. So you can actually just on dry skin, massage in your argan oil. Get it all massaged in, break up your makeup, and then you can go in and splash it with water and rinse and use one of these, or you can just use one of these. It really depends. But I like to wrap it around my hand and I like to get into my eyebrows too. This is kind of one of my tricks as well. We can get dead skin in the bottom of our brows and in the base of the brows. And so I really do like to work this into my brows, make sure I'm kind of working the skin underneath there. Massaging oil into the brows is great as well. And then I like to just be very gentle. I like to do my, around on my face before the eyes. And then I'm going to work around the, the nose. And then I'm going to fold my cloth again, get a clean spot. And then I'm going to go onto the eye very gently. But here's one of my makeup remover tricks that I have taught you guys before is that Oh, and I see that Denise is saying she has the cloths on auto ship. This is a great thing to have on auto ship. They actually come in a two pack. So when you order them, you get two packs of them. They're just really amazing. Very fresh. You can use them head to toe as a refresher wipe too, but these aren't, I'm very picky. I don't generally like makeup remover wipes. I love my slur water and this is esthetician approved for sure. But here's what is interesting is that when you're putting on mascara, say if you're a makeup wear, where do we put on mascara? We put it up under our lashes like this, right? But when we're using a wipe, we're you a lot of times going down on the top and not addressing the makeup underneath here. So you do wanna make sure that you are getting um, the underside too. You can even gently use this to kind of get both sides. I don't have any makeup on right now. Um, and so, but they are just so fresh and clean and I do like getting them down. And it's really great to kind of get in like the little crevices behind the ears, really get up into your hairline. Um, and it's the end of the day here, but you also wanna make sure you're doing a pre-cleanse to remove your SPF. We wanna make sure we remove our makeup and our SPF products in particular before we get into a facial. Um, and I love these micellar makeup remover wipes. And if you do use extra stubborn makeup, starting with the argan oil is a favorite. It's super vitamin E rich. It's very nourishing. And when you're doing a winter type facial, it's just going to give your skin a little additional like moisturization barrier boost before we go into everything else. Are these wipes strong enough for waterproof makeup? Yes, these do remove waterproof makeup. Um, I have very, very sensitive lashes. And so sometimes I will just put a little oil on my lashes just to soften them um, even more so before I go into this, but I know my lashes. It's not that this won't remove it. It's just, I want the process to be as easy and gentle and as possible. Crystal says she loves the wipes. Um, <clears throat> Mira is asking what SPF to use. I have a whole blog on our website on gopurebeauty.com. Um, if you dig in there, we actually have a whole blog and I went through a bunch of different sunscreens with a lot of different options depending on your skin and your skin type and all of those fun things. All right, now, next, we are going to cleanse with a cleanser. Who here has used, who here has used the Go Pure Cleanser? And I'm gonna grab it. I just pulled a towel out. Who has used our vitamin C cleanser? And this is actually available in the Go For a Glow set that we are giving away at the end with the headband, the vitamin C moisturizer, and this very cute cosmetics bag here. How adorable is this? Who doesn't want this? This is so cute. 
Um, but this is free of SLS. It is also packed with um, balancing and clarifying ingredients. It has aloe, um, rose hip, and incredible vitamin C. Obviously, I love this cleanser. It is not harsh. It is safe for all skin types. <laughs> and I apologize. I do have a bit of a cough. I have three children and um, us trying to stay at 100% has not been possible lately. So I'm just going to dampen my face because I'm going to be cleansing my skin at my desk live. So bear with me. We're going to, it's about to get chaotic and a lot of fun. Who's going to have fun with me? I'm just going to dampen my face. This is just water. Um, and we are going to go in and I've seen some questions about this new packaging. So when I'm squeezing the cleanser, I like to grab it just kind of near the top. I don't squeeze it near the bottom. Typically I'm going to grab it near the top and I'm just going to get just a light squeeze. You do not need a lot of this cleanser. This cleanser lasts me so long and I cleanse my face two times a day and this cleanser does last me quite a bit. Now I'm getting creative with lathering. So here's one of my cleansing tricks. I like to lather my cleanser in my hands, not on my face. So we are really gonna get a lather, Let's lather it up. Let's just get lathery. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to start stimulating my skin. Um, I really, I see a lot of people get really concerned about tugging and pulling on the skin. As long as you have a proper slip, it should be fine. But I love using cleansing to really start stimulating my skin and to really just start. And normally it lathers more than this, but again, I'm sitting at my desk and I use very little cleanser right now, but it's just, it feels so good. I have some cleansing tutorials on TikTok and I like to do a full 60 second cleanse. And you really want to get in there and focus on the areas that need extra attention and love and care. One of the reasons too um, that we do a good pre-cleanse is not everyone likes cleanser on their eyes, but see how I'm getting really up into my hairline. You want to really get it up into your hairline and just give a really good invigorating cleanse. I'm all about just cleansing the skin well. And it's not harsh or harmful. And then I'm going to take I'm getting a little creative here. My warm towel, and I'm really using this to just gently massage, and make sure my skin is very clean. And I'm working it down my neck. Remember this area, this area gets neglected so easily and it can get really rough and really dry. We don't want that. And I'm kind of simultaneously cleansing and removing because once again I'm sitting at my desk <laughs> so we're getting creative and Lil says we have 10,000 hearts already we do we already have 10,000 hearts and I feel another giveaway coming on here at some point who who's getting excited for the next round of giveaways Joy is saying after I cleanse the vitamin C cleanser my skin feels so clean and I love that you said that because Here's the thing about cleansers. Who has used a cleanser? And then after they have cleansed their skin, their skin almost feels too clean. And they're I like, it's like the whole myth of like the ridiculous squeaky clean face where your skin feels too tight and it feels too stripped. What I love about the vitamin C cleanser is that my skin feels very, very clean but it doesn't feel tight and stingy. If your skin instantly feels really tight and stingy, that means that it may have taken away too much of the good things on your skin, along with some of the things you probably want to remove from your skin. So I love the vitamin C cleanser because my skin just feels refreshed and it feels, and as an esthetician, I'm very picky about that. I'm really picky about how my skin feels after cleanser. And it's very hard to find something that makes my skin feel clean. And I acknowledge my skin is clean without it feeling too, too tight because we don't want to remove too much of those good components of our skin and our skin barrier. I'm, I really so much love the vitamin C cleanser so, so much. So now here, if you um, want, 
this is where we are going to, let's pay attention to our skin. Let's do a skin analysis. This is how we make choices in our skincare rout routine generally, but also our facial, because this is a fun routine where we are doing skincare products. And I'm seeing a question on TikTok about oily acne skin, please help. I do wanna do more content specifically around oily and acneic skin because it is so specific. Um, and it, it is like, it just needs its own, um, conversation and oily and acne skin needs the right cleanser, the right toner, but I do really love the vitamin C cleanser, even for oily and acneic skin. And then the toner, um, and, and the 10% niacinamide booster. I love the GoPure 10% niacinamide booster for oily and acneic skin. It's so balancing and amazing. Um, so I want everyone now how to think about your skin. How does your skin feel? Does it feel rough? How does it look? Does it look dull? Do you see hyperpigmentation in dark spots? Do we see blemishes? Do we maybe feel like we have more lines and wrinkles than normal? When it gets dry and when we kick the heater on, I, even my eye area looks different to me because my skin is more dehydrated um, around this time of year and those more lines and wrinkles show up. So in the winter, our skin can look more dull. Um, the lines and wrinkles can be more evident. It can feel more uncomfortable because those are all indications of our skin just being more dry and dehydrated. Um, Bruce asking, how do I repair skin that is too tight from the product taking off the good stuff? Well, you wanna make sure that you're using nourishing skincare and barrier supportive skincare and we're going to get into that in the serums. But um, today, let's talk about how my skin feels. Now, I have very sensitive skin. So even just me like cleansing my skin will get more red. But my skin feels, um, it does feel more dry, but it's felt more dry for like the last month. And I'm noticing signs of dehydration. I'm noticing those more fine lines here. I feel like my pore size um, is not bad because the 10% niacinamide booster has literally changed my life. Um, and we have a question on TikTok about products that hydrate our skin. So I absolutely am obsessed with this new Dramatically Dewy because it not only hydrates the look of skin, but it helps lock it in. It also is moisturizing and you need a good moisturizer because if we are going to impart hydration in the skin, we need to lock it in. And so I do love oils as well. Um, they're really important. We're going to go through all of those in this routine. Um, so now when, when I want everyone to assess your skin, I see Vic saying dull, more wrinkles, hyperpigmentation. Um, let's see some other questions here. Um, Becky was saying, I see what you're saying out the lines. I was freaking out thinking I'm super aging. No, that's just a sign of dehydration and additional dry dryness and lack of um, water in the air can do that to our skin. Edie's saying that pore size is a problem. Um, you definitely need the 10% niacinamide booster. So now if we want, we can actually do more of a steam. It's really important that, um, that um, sorry, I just drew a blank. You should not steam skin that has not been properly cleansed. Some people will wait till after they exfoliate to steam their skin, but I have very sensitive skin. I don't like steaming my skin too much after I exfoliate or use anything that exfoliates because I just have very, very sensitive skin. Um, so I don't like to impart any additional heat onto my skin post exfoliation. So you can actually steam after you cleanse or after you exfoliate or both and like even do a quick double steam. Um, I do like taking one of our lovely damn steamy washcloths pre-exfoliation. And what you can do is just do a light steam either with a steamer or a cloth. Um, one thing you can do is take this dreamy steamy cloth, make sure it's not too hot because an excess heat can actually dehydrate our skin more. So you can take this and you can set it on your face. I'm not going to sit under this for a few minutes because that would be very boring for you all if I sat here with a big towel on my face. But I'm just going to do a quick press around my face. Cindy's saying she's never steamed her skin. Now, this is just warm. It's kind of at the point where it's still warm, but it'll still release some steam. I don't want it to be too hot. We don't want to burn ourselves, and we don't want to dehydrate our skin. I'm doing, it's like a pre-steam. And I, I'm going to focus on areas that I want to make sure are just additionally slightly softened so my exfoliator can do the job a little more easily. So what I'm doing is I'm just allowing this bit of steam to and dampness and slight warmth to get onto my skin so 
my microdermabrasion resurfacing exfoliator can get to work. Now I'm not going to use this right now because it's very hard to remove. And then I'll have grit on my face when I'm trying to do my other products. Um, I'm, it's not hard to remove. It's hard to remove when I'm sitting at my desk. <laughs> Let me clarify. <laughs> um, so I don't want to like try and get this off while I'm sitting here because that could be a bit of a shenanigan because what's really amazing about this is this uses glycolic, lactic, and salicylic acids um, in very gentle quantities. Then it is paired with this super fine um, pumice and bamboo powder. Um, so, and then it uses those fruit enzymes, a little lemon balm. It's a really beautiful product um, and it's very, very fine. So it's not abrasive. Again, as an esthetician, I'm very, very picky about anything with a scrub in it. It's got past it's got to go through me if I'm going to tell you guys to use it. What I love about this is you can actually apply it to the skin. Let it set on the skin for 30 seconds. You can let it sit on the skin for up to five minutes. Do apply it when your skin is damp. Massage it around in circular motions. Let the product do the work. Um, and remember, we do not want to use retinol on nights where we exfoliate, but it really helps improve the appearance of those lines, the wrinkles, the sun damage. But this routine with exfoliation, what's great about it is it's going to allow those hydrating and moisturizing products to just get in the skin more. We're going to remove that excess, those excess dead cells and all of those things just so your more nourishing skincare products can get in. Now, we had a question about the nose area. If, 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 if your nose is extra dry and flaky or you get flaky spots, this is very safe to use on those flaky spots. Um, and Cindy's saying she used it in the shower and that's why I love doing this and starting this facial in the shower if you can. Um, and we have a winner. Marcy is our winner of the Merry and Bright gift set or the Go for the Glow gift set. We're doing a couple more winners. Um, so stay tuned and keep participating and congratulations on um, winner Marcy. And um, we're going to be doing a big grand prize at the end. So stay tuned, invite your friends because you have to be here to win. Our next winner is Vic. Vic, you also won your choice of the Marion Bright gift set or the Go for the Glow gift set. Congratulations. Um, this is so, I love giving stuff away. I love it. I love it. So we want to make sure that we um, fully remove that. And while you're doing this, you can actually, if you have very extra sensitive areas, you can actually mix argan oil and a little sugar and you can get your lips too. And if you don't want to use this around your nose, you can use some argan oil just with some sugar. And that is very, very exfoliating on those extra gentle areas like the nose or on the lips. So now we are going to do some more skincare. I'm going to actually give my face another dampening spritz and we are going to put on a mask. Now, who here has used the enzyme mask? I'm obsessed with the enzyme mask. I've said this before. This, the enzyme mask was my gateway into Go Pure. Um, it's amazing. I love masks. I'm such a mask girl. I'm a home facial girl. I love it so much. Well, the enzyme mask is so awesome because it's just this perfect nourishing boost for dry and dehydrated skin. We've heard so many of you share these incredibly um, creative ways to use this enzyme mask. Um, you can paint it on the skin and let it sit for 15 to 20 minutes. It is just packed with these um, very gentle enzymes. Now, enzymes and alpha hydroxy acids work in different ways. And so one um, focuses, they just basically exfoliate differently. So alpha hydroxy acids want to break up um, the bonds between our cells and um, enzymes generally work on the um, exfoliating and dissolving the proteins themselves. And this um, just removing that excess dead skin and you can paint it on kind of as thin or thick as you like. There's no wrong way to do it. I don't want people to get caught up in the, am I doing this right with stuff like this? I just love when you get it on your skin. Now, if you have an extra dry nose, let's just paint the end of our nose too. Let's get it on there. Let's get this nourishing, yummy mask on. And I'll even bring it down this way here. And um, Shannon has not tried the enzyme mask. I feel like this is such a sleeper product. This, and we do have a set, I believe that has the microdermabrasion and the enzyme mask. We used to, I'll have to double check that. But they work so well together. Yes, you can use them together because we use very gentle quantities of the exfoliants that are in them. But this is packed with nourishing oil. So this is one of the reasons why the enzyme mask is so amazing because 
it really, I just want to keep layering it on basically. And you can leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, but um, it really is gentle enough for all skin types. What I do love is it has um, that mix of gentle AHAs, BHA, um, and those enzymes with so many nourishing oils. This is packed with like eight to 10 nourishing oils. It feels incredible on the skin, but it's not greasy. It doesn't burn. It doesn't sting. Um, it's very comfortable to wear, which is super important because it's not fun when you're wearing a product um, and it's uncomfortable on your skin, whether it's stingy or it feels heavy. It just feels perfect. And it does feel like, Diane's saying I need a spa night. Yes, that's what we're doing here. It just is the perfect spa and this lasts so long but you can even use this and you could give your feet a scrub with the microdermabrasion resurfacing exfoliator and then top it with the enzyme mask and wrap up your feet and have a truly dreamy spa night so while this maybe is marinating on the face you can actually go in and give yourself a hand treatment a neck or decollete treatment i do really love this for the backs of my hands these this is a great combo. If you feel like the backs of your hands are even being extra dry. Um, that's why I, I love you all trying this. These actually do work kind of amazingly head to toe. And I think everyone needs this. And remember with code winter facial, you get 20% off the favorites that I'm using in this facial, including the enzyme mask and the resurfacing exfoliator. If you're on the live stream, you can shop right here as you learn with this exclusive discounts and grab some of these favorites. Now this feels so nice on the skin and it just kind of absorbs into the skin. You can see as I've been sitting here, it's becoming less opaque and it really just starts melting into the skin. Now, if you feel like maybe your skin just needs more hydration or brightening, as opposed to using the enzyme mask, you could absolutely reach for one of the sheet masks too um, and use one of those. These come in a four pack with uh, as the anti-wrinkle sheet mask. And then we have this incredible brightening sheet mask. So we do have other options. This is generally the mask step where you just are going to give your skin that extra level of care and time and attention. You can grab some lemon water to sip on. You could make yourself some tea. You could put on some relaxing music. And you can just sit back and really, really enjoy and just kind of take it all in. Um, I'm seeing someone say I didn't think you to use it on my feet. Um, yes. It's amazing. And we even have some of our um, amazing VIPs that share in our group all sorts of ways to use this. We do have people that sleep in this mask as well um, and use it as a sleeping mask. It really is so nourishing and it feels incredible on the skin and you just get left with this amazing glow. But my skin feels supported and I see questions about how do we support our barrier? And one of the easiest ways to support our skin barrier is um, is through using nourishing oils. And this, the enzyme mask has so many of my favorite oils in it. It's, I mean, there's literally like eight to 10. The list is so long and it's amazing. And it just is so nourishing because our skin produces oil naturally to lock in hydration. The main goal is to keep the good stuff in, which is basically water and all the, the bad environmental allergens and all of these things. Yes. So I have see a question on TikTok. How do we shop? There is a link in our bio. You can always go to gopurebeauty.com um, as well if you want to snag some of these goodies. Um, and the thing about this is, is that this mask is like 19 US dollars. <laughs> It's such a crazy good deal. I can't even deal with it. All of these products are um, just so accessible. Um, and Erica is, hi, Erica. Erica is saying, is the skin barrier repairable? Yes, it is. So our skin really wants to naturally repair itself. But um, as we age, we start producing less of the natural components of our barrier. So we start producing less ceramides. We produce less oil. And so those things are very important. So the best way to support and help keep a strong skin barrier and help it be repaired is to use um, things that have those ceramides. Niacinamide is a barrier supportive ingredient and nourishing oils um, and using the right moisturizer can all really, really 
just support that skin barrier and make, make sure it stays healthy and strong. But that's one of the things that that happens as we age is our barrier, it just becomes compromised more easily. Um, and we can damage it more easily. So and we also want to make sure that's one of the, the reasons I love our uh, cleanser is because it's free of um, just harsh surfactants and harsh things that strip the skin. So I could leave this on for 10 to 15 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off now because we have more products to get into. So I'm just going to take this warm cloth and I'm going to gently wipe it away. Usually if I were in my, my bathroom, I would gently wipe this away and then I would rinse my skin. Um, but I'm at my desk, so <laughs> I can't do that. But see how I like to get this up into my hairline and I didn't get it too close to my nose or my mouth, but I did get my nose area. I am actually going to use my washcloth to just gently massage in a circular motion around my nose. Sorry, I hope you could hear me. I'm going to cir use circular motions around my nose to get more of that dry skin. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get what I got on my neck off really gently. Just and yes, you can just wipe it away. I like to wipe and then give it a, an additional rinse if I can. These are very saturated cloths and they're nice and warm, but they're not hot. And right, look at how glowy my skin is. Look at my skin and how glowy it is. It feels so amazing <laughs> after I use the enzyme mask. And I'm always shocked when I hear people say they haven't tried it because. I am so glowy right now and my skin feels so nourished and I'm so excited to move on to the rest of my routine. So now we're going to move on to balancing and toning the skin. What I will say is if you like the way your skin feels after using the enzyme mask, you can tone before um, or you can just skip toning. But I'm going to use our the toner in the new packaging. This is a hydrating toner. So this is not a stripping toner. Um, it truly is hydrating. It's packed with humectants. It has aloe. It has rose hip. Um, it's alcohol free, which is very important. And now I'm going to almost knock this over because I'm always knocking stuff over here. If you've been on my lives, you know, I knock stuff over all the time. <laughs> There's a lot going on around here, but I'm going to take a cotton round and I'm going to pump it. I actually like to set this down and I'm going to just kind of grab the sides of this and pump. And then I'm going to get some of this on to my cotton round. The trick is if you, and I, I saw a question in the group that I wanted to address. Um, if you do like using your hands, just grab the sides of this pump down and use it as if it had dispensed from one of our um, airless moisturizer pumps and you can just get it in your hand if you prefer to use your hands. I like using a cotton round. The purpose of toning is to additionally clarify and balance the skin. You can remove any additional impurities and just um, get ready to move on to the products that stay on the face. It's an additional preparation for absorption, but it depends on the toner because there's so many toners out there that do so many different things. So generally the purpose of toning is an additional clarifying and balancing step to make sure we got the skin's pH back to where it needs to be and all of those things. But there are so many toners out there and there are toners that, that they might be an exfoliant. There are toners that just do a lot of different things. So this is a truly hydrating um, toner. This one is to really just remove any additional impurities and prepare your skin for the rest of your routine. It's very balancing, but this is my, this is my glow secret. <laughs> You thought I was glowing after the enzyme mask. Look at my skin after using the hydrating toner. Do we see what's happening here with my skin? If I'm feeling dull or not as radiant as I would hope, <laughs> I reach for my hydrating toner and I am glowing. Uh, Michelle saying, been using for six months now and love what GoPure has done for me. Krisky saying, I love the toner. Nikki has not used the toner. This is actually our only toner. So this is our only toning product. Um, it's so great. It does work for all skin types, even dry skin. It has components that I think are really great for all skin types. I love the balance of hydrating and clarifying and nourishing ingredients in here. Um, she loves saying go has made my skin so much better. Um, yes, it's, I mean, the toner is wonderful. Leah, the toner is so wonderful. And 
it's, it just makes my skin feel perfect. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. It just makes my skin feel so perfect. And it just, look at how just glowy and prepped it is for the rest of my routine. And I get a lot of questions. When do I use toner? You put on toner when you're ready to move on to the skincare that stays on your face. So we, remember we wash off, the, you know, you wash off your cleanser, you wash off your scrub, you wash off your mask. All of those things are washed off. When we're ready to move on to the skincare that stays on the face, that's when we tone. That's when we reach for our toner. So that's a good rule of thumb. So now we're gonna move on to serums and treatments. This we're gonna choose based on what happened in our skin assessment, how is our skin looking and feeling, and then what do we wanna target and treat? Because serums are really that way to level up your skincare routine and more specifically and intentionally target your skin concern. So do you have dark spots and hyperpigmentation? I saw large pores, I saw dryness and dehydration, I saw fine lines and wrinkles. So because I exfoliated, I'm not gonna use retinol. So that's the rule of this routine. If you exfoliated, we're not gonna use retinol or retinol products but you can kind of use any other serums that GoPure has. You could even use your Brighten and Even Serum. This is another great option. I am going to use our two iconic booster serums. So I'm gonna reach for the 10% Niacinamide Booster and the Amazing New Dramatically Dewy. Why am I gonna do this? Both of these are barrier supportive. So I wanted to clarify, exfoliate, and now I wanna boost my barrier. I wanna deeply hydrate the look of my skin and I wanna target any redness, Maybe the fine lines, discoloration. Niacinamide is kind of a superstar because did you know that niacinamide can improve the appearance of redness, large pores, excess oil and shine, fine lines and wrinkles, dark spots and hyperpigmentation, acne, breakouts, so many things. But niacinamide is also barrier supportive because niacinamide wants to naturally support our production of ceramides. It's very, very cool. It does so many things and it literally pairs with like all of your skincare ingredients. What's really, really cool about this 10% niacinamide booster is not just the niacinamide though. It's the fact that it has this pumpkin seed extra extract, a natto fruit. It has a microalgae that additionally targets dark spots and hyperpigmentation. And then it has pentavitin. And pentavitin is a skin hydrator that can improve the look of skin hydration for up to 72 hours. So like this is not just niacinamide. It's an amazing booster that does so many things. And Jessica's saying that niacinamide is a game changer. It has been niacinamide has been a game changer for me. I have very sensitive skin that gets red very easily, but I also struggle with large pores. They get congested and clogged very easily and I have combination skin. Niacinamide has changed the game for my skin and it's amazing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my skin a little spritz because I want it to be damp. And I'm gonna start with a 10% niacinamide booster because it is a thinner consistency than the Dramatically Dewy. And the Dramatically Dewy, which is our hydration serum, does have um, some moisturizing ingredients. So I do like to top my just purely um, hydrating serums. And I'm going to make sure I get this nice niacinamide on the areas where I do have larger pores. Yes, Brooklyn, it does sound amazing. And you'll see how sensitive my skin is. I touch my skin and it gets pink just from me touching my skin. And so niacinamide is a game changer for me. Now you can absolutely, and I encourage you, get your neck and decollete, get the backs of your hands. I have all the things, neck, decollete, backs of hands when we are doing our skincare, especially with our serums. Now I'm going to spritz again, and I'm gonna reach for the iconic Dramatically Dewy. Okay. In the comments, who here has tried the new Dramatically Dewy Serum? This is, we launched this in October just to our VIP customers. And then it was available in an exclusive collection. It had the full launch for Black Friday. Who has tried the incredible Dramatically Dewy Serum? I have not ever found another serum like this. It is, it feels like liquid silk and it's so like milky and creamy, but not heavy because what it does is it has three different weights of hyaluronic acid that want to hold onto water and pull it into the skin, but it also uses hydrocella, which was Australian wild rosella. 
which is not only barrier supportive, but it also supports our skin's natural hydration. Um, and so it has all of these amazing components that improve the look of hydration in the skin, but it also works to lock it in with um, olive and it has vitamin B5 and I love it. Um, I'm just spritzing water on my skin. So um, it uses those multiple weights of hyaluronic acid to just um, really hydrate the look of skin at different levels. The smaller size molecules penetrate a little more deeply than the ones that sit more on the surface. And yes, I do initially press them in. There's a lot of there's a lot of controversy, I feel like. Do we press, do we rub? My general rule of thumb is you can rub something if it has enough slip to it, but I like pressing in. I like the, that type of stimulation on my skin. Um, and then if it has enough slip, you can give a little rub. Now here's one of my tricks. I do love taking a little extra dramatically dewy because this is a facial. Oh, um, I'm seeing someone say that it makes your skin feel soft. And I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to dab this dramatically dewy around my eye area because we are going to get into eye care, but I'm going to do a little tippy tap around the eye area because like I said, in the winter, this area gets so much more dehydrated and my lines, I mean, I'm 41 years old. My lines and wrinkles like to hang out all winter long with me. <laughs> And I don't like it very much. So just that extra boost of those, those ingredients that hydrate the look of skin are amazing. And now I'm going to reach for the incredible advanced repair eye cream. Who here has used the advanced repair eye cream? No facial would be complete without a great eye cream. I prefer to put eye cream on before moisturization in some facial routines. Um, you would do all your serums and then you would move on to moisturizers and then you would finish with eye cream. I um, disagree with that method. I want my eye products to just get around my eye area and my moisturizers to be on my face. So by putting my eye cream on first, I'm ensuring that I'm using a product that is specifically formulated for that area to get on the skin um, more directly in those areas. We have this really cute spatula now, and we're going to do a little eye massage with this, but do you want to see how much I love this advanced repair eye cream? This is what is left in my advanced repair eye cream. I mean, clearly I'm a fan. I have never, ever, 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 been obsessed with an eye cream the way I am this advanced repair eye cream. It actually has five ingredients that are clinically proven to work around the eye area. It's packed with peptides. Um, it targets all of the major concerns around the eye area from dark circles to puffiness, to those lines and wrinkles, to the sagging skin in the bags. And it visibly brightens the look of the under eye area. Um, it's really incredible, but it's not heavy. So I'm going to use my spatula and I'm going to scoop some out when I do a facial and especially in the evening, I use a little more eye cream than I normally would. So I just scrape some out. Um, you guys asked for this. This is why we have it. And I do want to show you all when you get your eye cream, you want to open it from the top, not the bottom, the top and your little spatula now is nestled there right in the top. How cute is that? So we added that. That's a new addition to this. So now when you order the eye cream, you do get this really cutie patootie spatula along with it, which I love. I think that's so cute. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of water. Hold please. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this and I'm going to do dot, 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 dot. And I am, I do like using extra um, in a night routine. This is, but this is what I do. I like, and you want to make sure this is clean. This feels so nice and cool, but you can keep it in the fridge as well. If you would like, Christine says she hasn't used the eye cream. You have to, you have to try the eye cream. It's so good and it's not heavy and it works super well under makeup because I'm also very picky about um, what goes well under makeup. It can be used day and night and now I'm going to take the little roller ball and I'm just going to roll it around. I'm going to do some circles back and forth because this is a facial after all, you know, and I'm going to now rock this back and forth in the area where I had those dark circles and maybe a little additional puffiness. This is going to put me to sleep. <laughs> I, yes, I put more on because this is a facial and it's the end of the day. During the day, I wouldn't use this much. 
but we we're just having fun right now. And it does feel nice and cool, but I'm going to rock back and forth in this area. And then I'm going to do little circles and I'm going to back and forth little circles very, very gently. And I'm going to circle out and I'm going to circle out. Then we're going to do, this is my trick, five times. Circle around five times. This area through here on the bridge of the nose, this is a secret area. I don't think I've ever shown. I have, I've done, I've talked about pressure points. So this is the advanced repair eye cream on TikTok. We have a question. So this is the Go Pure advanced repair eye cream. It's heavenly, heavenly. Comes with this. Now we have these really incredible lymphatic drainage and pressure points through here, even down the bridge of our nose. If we're doing a facial, you want to use a light touch. If you want to put yourself to sleep, this is, this is my trick for my children when they were babies too, to understand the eye area and how it can relax you. Even with this amazing cutie patootie rollerball, here's what we're going to do. We're going to rock here. See how we rocked here and we did these five circles around. Now we're going to rock right here. We're going to rock on the bridge of the nose and we're going to rock down. We're going to rock on the bridge of the nose right here and we're going to rock down. That feels incredible. And when you actually use a very light touch, that's when you're going to get the benefits of maybe releasing something from your lymphatic drainage, but also that relaxation. And for me, it's an incredible stress release. So now we're going to go, we're going to rock on this side. I'm doing this left-handed. So it's a little more awkward. And then we're going to rock down this movement from this rock here. And you can use your bone structure. And see how I'm a little bit lower. I'm not trying to get all up by my eyeball. I'm going along my bone structure here. Rock back and forth, rock down. Rock back and forth, rock down. And as we walk out, you'll feel a spot here, here, and here. Now this is the next trick. Take this in your 11s with a really light touch. The 11s right here. We're going to do a rock here and I can actually still feel using on this spot here. I can feel these points that I had just kind of activated with this here. You could do this every night, but now I can start feeling now that I've worked from here and now I'm going to these spots. I can actually feel these spots. And it feels insane. It feels so good. I want you all to try it and report back. I'm going to fall asleep now. Like that hat, like what that will do when you activate these points and then finish right there, then you could do an additional sweep, anchor your elbows and hold on to your temples. I'll tell you what, we could all go to sleep just right now after doing that. If you, um, you just feel additional tension through here, I really, really love that trick. I, Steph, I am going to fall asleep because I even just feel what that did to my energy in a, in, my, in a very positive way after doing that. And Joy, it is heavenly. It's so heavenly. And I just, it's, it's just this incredible feeling that you get after doing that. And I love it. But again, I'm using very light pressure. This has a very, um, it has a great weight to it. And so you want to let the tool do the work. And so use the weight of this and just, you actually get um, much more of an impact with some of these things when you, and you play with it. But I'm, if you're running along the bone structure, it's not like you're going to want to be using like all this crazy pressure, you know, but it feels so good. Um, and it is very relaxing and it just does this really great thing to my energy. I feel like after I do that and it's, I love incorporating that into my evening routine. Um, and I'm seeing a question about migraines. I actually have battled really bad migraines my whole life, which is maybe why I really love, um, very simple, um, 
massage and stimulation techniques into my home facial or my skincare routine because those, and I carry a lot of tension through here. Um, how many platforms am I running? Isabel, I'm running so many platforms. <laughs> I have so many platforms. Um, but it just, it feels so good. So now that we've done that, we're going to choose our moisturizer. Now we want to moisturize our face, but we also want to moisturize our neck and decollete. And we are going to continue integrating some of those massage techniques into um, the rest of our routine. You can actually do your neck and decollete first or your face. Either way is totally fine. Can take a little blueberry here. Again, if I'm doing this at night, I will do more. I will do extra. Let's apply it onto the skin. Now, using this length of our hand, so from the middle finger down right here onto the palm, this is a really great skincare tool. So I'm going to pull out, down, out down and up right here. And we're just going to massage it in using this length here. We're going to massage it around. And then I'm going to use that same length of my hand down this way and down that way. Easy peasy. And look at how glowy I am. Now, this glycopeptide anti-wrinkle moisturizer was my choice. Why did I choose that? Well, this is kind of my favorite winter moisturizer. We have so many of you that use this um, day and night, year round. I have combination skin. So this is my go-to, especially in the evening, in the drier months. I'm going to get the end of my nose. I know Brooklyn says I look so happy and relaxed. I am so happy. I'm always happy when I'm live with you all, first of all. Um, but this has niacinamide. This has um, a, two different peptides. It has those ceramides that I talked to you about. It has a, um, a, a peptide ceramide blend in here. It's very, very barrier supportive, but it's not heavy. And look at that glow. My skin just feels so perfect after I use this. Um, and it just feels so good. And so I love this moisturizer. And it does have our tamarind extract, which is our solium moist that is also featured in our actives trio. It's actually a botanical hyaluronic acid alternative um, that is, it's just visibly hydrates the look of skin. Um, and it's amazing. And that's one of the, the really cool ingredients that's in our actives trio um, that is so incredibly popular. I bet you didn't know it was actually in the glycopeptide anti-wrinkle moisturizer as well. <coughs> After I do facial massages. Um, if, if I stimulate this area too much, there's a reason I'm trying not to hit this under area too hard. Um, because I am trying to not make my cough worse. It can be very releasing on the sinuses. So I'm being very um, particular about what massage techniques I'm using. So now I'm going to grab the incredible neck cream who has used the neck cream. Um, and I'm going to just take a couple more pumps of this neck cream. This is heaven in a jar. And it truly does work for the neck area. We've had so many incredible, incredible um, results with this. So many of you sharing things. I'm going to take this, um, my fingers, and I'm going to move along my collarbone in this direction, work down, up, 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 down the sides. I'm going to do a jaw pull here. I'm going to hold it for a second. And then I'm going to move it down from behind the ears. But the tighten and lift neck cream is so cool because again, like our eye cream, it's actually formulated for the, the specific needs of the neck. The neck is thinner. It produces less oil. It's very exposed. It's very, very delicate. And it does require extra care. Um, and so the tighten and lift neck cream is, is so cool because it uses not just one, not just two, but um, multiple ingredients and a proprietary blend to really target the unique concerns of the neck area. If you haven't tried it, you got to try it. But here's what I'll say. If you're going to use that with the neck cream and with the eye cream too, take before and after pictures. Before and after pictures make a really, really big difference because the, the changes are really easy to miss. Uh, on delicate areas, remember we're targeting the look of the skin itself and we do get structural changes on the neck and around the eye area. So your skincare focuses on the skin um, and just making sure that it is supported um, and 
And so when you're using products that have ingredients that really specifically target what's going on in that area, that's when you're going to get the best results, but also be consistent, use it day and night. I really truly love this nut cream. And the thing I'll say about this nut cream is that, and with code winter facial, you get an additional 20% off. This is on the list. I suggest you pick it up, but what's really, really cool about this is that we just, I mean, it's, it's a five-star product. It's dermatologist reviewed. We have so many pros that absolutely love this, but neck creams can be a hundred to $150 that are even slightly comparable to this. This is a fraction of the price of those. Um, I just love teaching all this because a, I love just wanting you all to love your skincare and wanting you to love the process and take a little time for yourself. It's so fun. It feels amazing, but I also like you to know why stuff does what it does and just how to amplify your results, but make sure that you take before and after pictures. Yes, shoe lover, you definitely, definitely need the nut cream. <laughs> Ellen says she keeps yawning. I hope I'm not putting you to sleep. I hope you're relaxed, but look at this glow. So my skin feels so moisturized. If you feel like you need an additional kick to really seal it all in, this is when we are gonna reach for our oil. So you can use rosehip, you can use argan, you can mix them. They are both packed with omegas. Um, they're amazing. I love argan head to toe, hair, nails, everything, body, mix it into your moisturizer, mix it into your body care. It's incredible. Rosehip is really cool because it's packed with vitamins A, C, and E. It actually has a, what they call kind of like a natural form of retinol. It has all trans retinoic acid in it. So I'm going to, because we didn't use retinol in our routine, I'm going to take a few drops of rosehip oil. Oils seal it all in. Oils come last. Um, if you are just starting with oils, you could use half a drop. You don't need to go all in. And then we're going to press it all around. And I'm just going to now, yes, I get my lips with the oil, press it around, get the backs of my hands for sure, get it onto my nails. Nails, 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 nails. Now, I had a question about the nose. I felt like I really got the dry skin on my nose throughout this process, right? Through the exfoliation, the moisturization. I really like to get it with that oil. Press it around my lips. Then I'm going to take a little aquaphor and I'm going to slather my lips with this. And then I'm going to take a little extra. And I'm going to pat the end of my nose <laughs> with a little bit of this to just lock it all in a little bit more because the end of my nose has been very dry and I do get those questions a lot. And so that is our facial. Who had fun? Who feels glowy? Who's going to do? I want to know who is going to do this. Um, Edie's saying sometimes I break out if I use the oils. Um, integrating oils into your routine. Um, you know, it can be a process. Start with less, start with like half a drop, press it over the top of your skincare and just only do it at night, maybe a few times and work your way up. I do have combination skin. Um, using oils really helped my skin for the better. It helped it regain balance because my skin was extra combination and extra oily because it was all, I was using the wrong stuff. And so my skin, especially in my T-zone was trying to produce more oil. Um, and so just start slowly integrate it into your routine and just see what works for you because everything works differently for different people. Dale says you're doing it all tonight. Well, who here is ready for a grand prize? Who's ready for a grand prize for that incredible, gorgeous go for your spa package with a go for the gold gift set where you get the headband, the cute cosmetics bag, the cleanser, the moisturizer, and your choice of a really luxurious robe. And I will tell you that I'm obsessed with barefoot dreams. I have an obsession and I'm going to get myself that robe because <laughs> I don't get to win. I get to win because I get to hang out with all of you all. But um, that barefoot dreams robe is so good. Uh, it's like, it's like a little heavenly. We, we, I always say that we need go pure robes <laughs> because I would wear them all the time. I'm not in my lab coat because I'm doing skincare and I'm in my scrubs, but then we could just hang out in robes all the time. That would be fun. Um, 
So as we choose our winner, remember you can still shop. You can use code winter facial. If you're on our live stream shopping feed, make sure you grab those goodies because this is an exclusive discount for a very limited time. We are going to leave the live on for about 30 minutes on the live stream shopping feed. So if you're watching us on social, that's in our bio. Um, and it is um, in a lot of the captions, depending on the platform. So we are, um, while we're figuring this out in the comments, let us know what your favorite self-care ritual is. It doesn't have to be skincare related. What is your favorite self-care ritual? ritual. Skincare for me really is one of those things. I'm mom. Um, I'm very busy and I'm taking care of everyone else. And I don't always do the best job taking care of myself in all of those ways. And skincare is just a way that I, I do make sure I take the time to care for myself. Our skin is our largest organ. It deserves care. It needs care. It actually works very hard to protect us. So Skincare is not vanity. Skincare really is more than just self-care. It is healthcare. We do need to care for our skin properly. But I'm seeing yoga um, in the comments. What else do you all do? Meditation and facials is another. Skincare is my favorite. I see a spa day at my home, head to toe once a week, bubble bath and skincare. <coughs> um, Nicole saying, I've been using Gopier for three years and no longer have skin issues, no more dryness or acne, just clear glowing skin. I love that. Tara says shopping. Shopping is my, is, is I can, I convince myself that shopping is self-care, but I don't know if it actually qualifies for me. I don't know if I'm doing it in a careful manner, if that makes sense. Um, we have Tanil Brown saying dramatically dewy serum in my face care routine every day. Yes, I abs I mean, using the right products. Um, shopping is number two. <laughs> it is. I think skincare and shopping are mine. It's oh, and snack and snacks, food. I like, I love cooking. I love taking the time to cook and I love learning. So one of my favorite types of self-care for myself is learning new things. I love following my curiosity. I'm a, an educator, so I'm a big learner. Um, but I love um, cooking as well. That is another thing that I just like to take the time. It relaxes me. And I love just like kind of splurging on foods that I can cook and prepare as well. Um, that's another one for me. Relaxing in a hot bath, mani pedi, spa treatment. I love all of your answers. Um, these are so great. I know Crystal and Kaylee are back there choosing our winner. Painting. I love that option. I've tried painting as self care, which is funny because I am a makeup artist. I'm a great makeup artist. I'm a terrible painter. I love painting and I'm so jealous of people that are artistic in those ways. Um, that is a great one. I love that answer. Uh, Celine saying one year with Go Pure now. Awesome. I love hearing that. Um, and we have over 24,000 hearts. That's really, really cool. I love seeing that. And I love seeing, I see a bunch of you checking out, like looking at products to, uh, to try and shop. Dale saying reading a good book with feet up and birds singing. That sounds heavenly. That sounds heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. She loves saying nine months with Go Pure. Melissa loves reading. I love to hear that. Karma saying, I must read. Bonus if I learn from what I am reading. You all are just are uh, giving us the absolute best answers. I love and I love learning more about you all when you all share and you participate. Um, oh, Nikki saying four months with your products. That's awesome. These are so fun for me because I really just get to hang out and, and learn about you all too. And I love when I see the same names popping up and everything. I know Isabella saying she sees my eyes moving around. So I do have TikTok here. Hello, TikTok. And I'm so glad you're with us and we were able to get you on. I and, and this view is my other camera. And that is the stream that is going to our live stream shopping feed, YouTube, our Facebook VIP community and Facebook. And you have to join our VIP community on Facebook. It is so amazing. And you get to ask me questions and Kaylee, who is our other esthetician questions and Mir, you are our grand prize winner. Congratulations. You have won this incredible Go Pure spa package where you get the Go for the Glow gift set as well as that lovely robe. And congratulations on winning. That is so amazing. And I want you all because we have some fun stuff planned for 2023. This is our last 
a big live we have planned for the year. Um, and so we wanted to make sure the giveaway was extra special. And we're so glad. How do you guys feel about this time? Usually we go live closer to one o'clock my time. We started on five o'clock my time. How do you all feel about going live at this time? How did this work out for you all? I know some of you can't um, can't always join us. I see when when is Kaylee going live? Well, that's that's in the works. Let's ask Kaylee. Kaylee, when do you want to go live? Kaylee is amazing. And I want to I want to get her um, at least live with me, if not doing some lives as well. She's so awesome and, and incredible. And for all of you on our live stream shopping feed, or if you're on TikTok or on looking on one of our other social platforms, you can actually hop over to the live stream feed. I'll be um, continuing to answer some questions um, in the chat if you all have them. But you can all continue to use code Winter Facial for 20% off our select list of products that were featured in this facial, including some of our iconic products like the Niacinamide Booster, like the, the Advanced Repair Eye Cream that has that amazing spatula with it, the Enzyme Mask that was so yummy, the Neck Cream, the Anti-Wrinkle Moisturizer. We have so many awesome products on there, the oil. So if there's anything that you wanted to try, use code Winter Facial, all caps, all one word to save an additional 20% off those additional products. Oh, Dawn says it's her first time joining. Best time. Thank you so much. Ellen says, love this time. Um, got, I'm so glad that you're on. Fran says, love this time. Um, that is so awesome. The spatula um, is on the site. The eye spatula, you can get it by itself, but it does come in the box with our advanced repair eye cream now. It is a recent addition. So if you open up the box, it's in there in the top make sure you're not opening the bottom to get it out because then you won't see it it's in the top <coughs> and we are absolutely absolutely going to be having more fun stuff in store how do you order you can shop on our live stream shopping feed or you can go to our website um, at gopurebeauty.com and um, we can drop that in the comments too um, but this the code winter facial is only going to be good for um, a limited time and you can absolutely access it through the live stream shopping feed grab those goodies grab any last minute things you want to get for the year, um, indulge, try something new. And remember, we have an incredible customer service team. Customer service is a cornerstone of our of, of us here at GoPure. And so we want you to love everything. We have a 60-day satisfaction guarantee. So you can always just grab products and try them. We, I really want you to be consistent. I really want you to try them. But uh, um, it is such a great opportunity to just try some new products, indulge a little bit, and level up your skincare routine with clean products that are clinically proven to deliver results. That's what we do here at Go Pure. And look at I'm so glowy, and we're so grateful that you all joined us today. And I hope you have an amazing holiday. I hope you have an amazing new year. You can always find us in the GoPure VIP community on Facebook, so make sure that you're in there so you can ask Kaylee and I questions and our customer service as well. Uh, and I hope you all have a great night. Remember, I'll still be answering some questions on the chat on the live stream shopping feed um, if you're all shopping. And we will leave it up for about 30 minutes so you can continue to grab your goodies um, from the product catalog that we have there. And I hope you just have an incredible holiday season. Bye.